Welcome back, guys. Uh, we are now in the cistern, dropped down from from Midas's palace into uh, probably my least favorite level. I mean, although I like the, uh, the level design, I'm not a big fan of the. Uh, <sighs> or maybe I'm just a noob, but I'm just not a big fan of all this platforming you have to do. So, uh, William is not going to be joining us for this level. He is busy on his uh, Tarkov video, which he wants to try and do for the weekend. Um, may or may not get that out, but uh, yeah. So, he's going to do that, and uh, he's just uh, getting some uh, footage, so he's playing a lot of Tarkov. Um, and so, I'm going to be doing this, because I want to keep uploading videos every day and try and finish this level quicker than I did the last time because I totally screwed that up. Right. Here we are. And as you go through this archway, I gotta say it's a pretty decent little view that you get. Um, yeah, so it's pretty populated here too. Just take care of those rats from up here. Crocodiles are proving to be a little bit more harder to get to. Well, we need to get down there anyway, so I'm just gonna. I think I can swim at the same speed as them. Now, through here. <laughs> is our first secret. Uh, and we get some magnum clips. Oh, goodness. They can't really do anything in that space, can they? But I can't really see where I'm swimming. <laughs> Whoopsie. Bye, rat. I'm only using these pistols because, uh,. I want to save my magnum ammo for for Egypt because it gets a little bit more difficult there. So I want to be a little bit more prepared. So I've gone ahead and got myself a new mic. Um, I think it's improved the audio quality. Uh, at least a little bit, because last time I pretty much sounded like I was uh, sitting in a tin can full of snakes, and it's just my S's. Every time I would like say S, it would like make this terrible hissing noise. And I don't know if it's just my voice or how close the um, old mic was, or because it was a headset mic, so it was pretty crap. Um, but I wanted to sort that out, so I kept trying to edit it, and eventually I just got over it. Um, so I thought, you know what, get a new mic, I need to get one anyway, because I keep breaking my headsets and I need to, you know, just, you know, wear, wear cheaper ones without a headset mic and just keep my own mic, separate the two things. And here you are again, my brother, welcome back. I did not uh, expect to see you so soon, even though we uh, missed you the last level. And uh, he's gone. Yeah. Just had to check some <clears throat> audio quality there quickly. My mic uh, needs to be adjusted a few times. I need to get used to using it because it's not a headset mic. So if I move further back or I do anything like the audio quality changes quite drastically, then I totally recorded this. I recorded this whole video, and um, around about halfway through, I didn't stop it anyway. I just kept on playing. And around halfway through it, I um, I moved, I think, and I sounded, it's kind of funny, because I was talking about how I used to sound like I was in a tin can, and I sounded like I was in an even bigger tin can. Anyway, here is our second uh, secret. I'm actually being quite diligent now. I think it's important to get these things as well. I know in Tomb Raider 3, you... Um, 
You get a reward for doing all the secrets. You get like a bonus medal. I'm not sure if Tomb Raider 2 does it. I prefer the secrets of Tomb Raider 2 though. You can get these little silver gold and uh, and jade dragons that you have to collect and there's like three of them in every level so you know how many secrets there are first of all and second of all um, it's just neater and it looks cool because once you get the last secret and it doesn't matter which order you get them but when you get the last one you get like a drop you get like three Uzi clips or like a gun sometimes um, it's quite useful anyway so we need a we need to fill this cistern up with water um, and then drop down here and these rats can't really swim under the water so we're, we're safe we're good we're golden but we need to get something through here first before we can go anywhere else First we kill the rat. And that's what we need to get. Key. So uh, all on the other side of this place, from the opposite end of where we are, there's a there's two doors. And we need two keys for those two doors. I have these guns, I may as well use them. Well, I did want to save the ammo. Um, yeah. Get some variety up in here. And waste them on easy, easy kills like that. And there we are, we're all filled up here. First things first, I'm just going to swim through here again. a gold or silver key. Well, good aim. <whistles> Tanky rat. He did. Now I know in the last level <laughs> I was watching the playback, it was so funny. I was doing, I think it was the second secret, um, and I was, was trying to explain how to get there or something, and as I was sliding down, I landed right in front of an object, and I looked at it, and then I just <laughs> ran past it, uh, and I didn't even think about it when I was playing the game, like I didn't even, it didn't cross my mind, and then I watched myself play it back, and it's the funniest thing, so if anyone noticed that. Drop a like <laughs> or a dislike, anyway. Okay. Okay, these guys. Please just run away from me. Actually, we need to go this way, anyway. Forgot to get the second key. I'm already dropping the ball here. But you can forgive me because, I mean, this level, even coming back to it. Like I played it before when I was younger I still I mean, coming back you still forget all the paths and stuff. Excuse me. Jeez. I'm tired. Apparently. So we got a copyright strike on that last uh, video actually funny enough. Um, and I have to laugh because when I check what the copyright strike was, it was because of the music and the game. And then I thought, well, I mean, if they copyright strike that video, surely they would have done the same with the rest of them, because I'm pretty sure no new song played in that. Um, but whatever, it's, it's kind of meaningless to me at this point. Like, unless you have like a thousand subs, you're not going to get monetized, and you're not going to get any ad revenue from videos. So... Even if you get copyright struck, it doesn't really mean anything. I 
do need to check up on whether or not it like affects the um the viewership like the recommendations at least but i'm not too sure about that i don't think so i don't think it, i don't think it would but even so i mean wouldn't it be fair use i mean i don't know music is coming from the game but the game is modern so i mean who knows So many shotgun shells, may as well use them. Oh, shoot the one close to me! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we need to get up to the top of this place. But before we do that, we're gonna get ass raped by this guy again. Where is he? Yep, there he is. Spawned. Cheers. <laughs> he like runs off into a secret passage, I guess. Totally legit. jump this afterwards immediately. Now my last recording was filled with uh, um, deaths trying to attempt this jump so if I can get it first time I'll be really impressed with myself. Uh, oh. And I didn't save either. Okay. Uh, so, totally saved that one. Yep, completely. Alright, so, um, let me actually save, because I really don't feel like going through that again. Alright. So, what I want to do is get those magnum clips over there, but you gotta get, like, sort of running jump at an angle. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. And you can quite easily jump up there. Don't even have to grab the ledge. go running in and then he just owns me. But not this time. Shit. Um so I was I was busy going through our stuff and our stats. And I mean we've been we've been doing this YouTube video now, well, this YouTube channel for about a week, um, and in that time we've managed to get around 300 views, which, I mean, I'm, I'm quite impressed with, because I wasn't really expecting anything to start off with. I mean, that's why I'm playing in a game like this, it's because I just wanted to start uploading videos, see if I could make something, see if I could watch it back and think it was funny, um, you know, obviously I would come back and then try and work on my mistakes um, but I never thought it would actually get like you know more than one or two views at a time but our first video like it did pretty well in the first evening like it got like 20 views and then overall it's got like around 54 now which I mean in normal terms to normal youtubers that's like that's nothing but when you've just started your channel from zero from a fresh account I mean I was a little impressed now, granted, most of those uh, 
not most, but at least half of those views came from our Tarkov video. Um, and we, we, we social media the shit out of that. Like, we went and stuck that up on Reddit, and we went everywhere. And at least 40% of the viewers were from Reddit. But it did okay. Like, I was quite happy with it. Um, again, I mean, we got seven subscribers. Barely appear anywhere for the... Well, the good news is, I'm not too far back, but I won't make you sit through this. And we're back. Let's take care of this uh, right quickly and then just come hop right up. Second one. <clears throat> yeah, so seven subs in seven, seven days, not bad. I mean, I've tried to consistently upload every day, but, uh, you know, we'll see what comes. Personally, I'm I'm just happy that I was able to to get any views at all. Um, I mean, one of our views, our videos, has got like eight likes, so that, that's good for me. I'll take that. I'm not going to complain about that. Yeah, so I don't think we need anything more from this area. What we've done is we've just tried to unlock it, so we can come back around again. <coughs> but uh, yeah, this is pretty much where we got the uh, the gold key back out here. Now we're going to go unlock the other door. I mean, the thing about YouTube is, it's not really about the time that you start. I mean, sure, there was a point at YouTube where you could have cornered the market in a certain thing that no one was doing. Like, at least in 2010, 2012, 2013, around there, getting into YouTube doing politics was also quite popular. I mean, if you started then, you'd be doing pretty well now, provided you had the charisma, you had the good, decent content, and you were able to keep people engaged. Viewer attention is one of the most important things. Um, and I, I, I'd probably, probably say that to myself right now, because a video like this does not have good viewer attention, especially if you're, you know, a zero subscriber channel. And I would probably concede that most of the subscribers I got from, well, that we got from on our channel or from that Tarkov video. Um, but there are ways in which you could put out videos that would, you know, boost that. And I figured, well, if I were to have a decent channel or a channel that started getting bumps, I'd at least like to have some content out there. Um, and I'm, I'm not at all worried about the ad revenue or anything like that. So if I were to create videos that were, at least to my knowledge, I, I would know that would do better, um, I would have stuff to fall back on. So, like, people can watch more stuff from my my YouTube channel. Um, so it's not just that one video. It's like, oh, it's like, there's a whole bunch of Let's Plays here. And yeah, screw it. Let's watch this guy. Um, and he's crazy for any... Well, I mean, I, I would say I'm more of a crazy one, but... Uh, yeah... So, now that we're done with all that jazz, we should reflush this place. God damn it! Ah, there we go. This level... Ugh, I am so bad. But at least we're back now. I can't even remember what I was talking about, like... This, this place is like one giant short-term memory loss trip. But all the cuts I have to keep doing. There's no point talking if you're going to cut through. And you have to... I mean, there's so many opportunities in this level to just like screw yourself over. Alright, no, no, let's go this way. It is a nightmare. At least for a noob like me, who kind of forgot about that item as well. Ah, there's two up here. Med kit. And shotgun shells. Yeah, so when it comes to YouTube, I think that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Not that it matters. Ah, oh, I didn't have to. Man, I am really, really good at this level. So when it comes to YouTube, my point was, is that 
Don't ever, don't let anyone ever discourage you from trying it out, um, at all, because it's not really about the viewers or the time. It's it's about the ability to, you know, be engaging. And you can do that. I mean, you'll do well at any point. You just got to find the right ways to boost yourself. Okay, so I'm derping out here, but I think what I need to do. If I remember correctly, let's go back around. So, I gotta hop on up here. And do that entire place down there through that doorway again. But this time, we're gonna come out where we did before. And the water level is gonna be a little bit lower. So, we'll be able to proceed and get the last key that we need in order to progress this level <laughs> yeah that, that's funny floating dead crocodile in order to progress this level we need to get two silver keys and a gold key and that that area over there is basically where we finish it that is the entrance to the tomb that we've come all the way to greece to locate it just happens to be all the way here in this sewer I'm going to go ahead and save again. I didn't save as much as I needed to, or anywhere near as much as I needed to in the last playthrough of this level, and my goodness. I don't know what it is about this place, but I just suck. I just keep on falling into traps, getting killed, unnecessarily falling into areas that I have to run back around. It is... It is the definition of bad content, but it's still content. <laughs> like that viewer retention, that's what's important. That's how you know you have subscribers that are like loyal to you, if you can keep a good retention. And what is retention, you ask? Well, that is uh, how often, well, how long people watch your videos for, the average. So. If your average on a 7 minute video is only like 40 seconds, then that's not good. Um, but if it's like around 2 minutes, 3 minutes, that's okay. Because, you know, there are definitely some people who are probably watching it to the end. So, YouTube is pretty cool in that regard. That it allows you to pick up all that stuff in your analytics. And one thing that I've figured, well, noticed that it doesn't do is if, if your subscribers' profiles are set to private, you're, you're unable to see who they are. So even if you subscribe to someone, um, they won't know who you are unless you're set to, like, a public account. And the weird thing is, is that all the people that subscribe to me, except for one account, um, is private. So I only see one subscriber. Ooh, I hear you. Yeah. I've got no time for that. Oh, there's the other one. There's the second one. Right, so now, since the water level is down, we can actually just jump up here, rather than having the water blocking us from being able to, s being able to climb out, or at least jump at all. I don't know if I can make that. I don't think so. What about this? No. I don't even think you can jump on that. <sighs> Some casual derping around. Never mind me. it's quite difficult to keep myself talking because with William it was cool because I mean that was my idea is if we were just both sitting and playing the game and chatting it would uh, at least fill this content up with well you know some leveled conversation um, not exactly the best conversations but you know we're, we're gonna try and get there and get better at it 
<laughs> but uh, doing it on my own is uh, a lot harder. Um, especially when you try and keep things on topic. Like, I'm not going to tell you about my work day. No one gives a shit about that. But we want to talk about things that are relevant to what you're watching. So, two most relevant things. Woo! Pierre, calm down. Let's go away. You're not welcome here. You know, screw him. You can do nothing to me if I just swim away. You can do nothing! I think we've pretty much got everything we need. We've got the silver keys. Yeah, we got both of them. And we got the gold. Okay. Both. Why did you? What the f keep respawning. What is this? This place is a nightmare. I'm telling you. Good news being. Actually done. And there it is. The entrance to the tomb of Tohokum. One of the three legendary rulers of Atlantis. Um oh yeah, I almost forgot. Because it's so easy to miss too. There is actually our last secret that we need to get. And it's behind this little block that we need to push. And that's well disguised. This secret I never really discovered as a kid. So most people will miss this one. But we do get some decent magnum clips. Well, should I say, a decent amount of magnum clips. Quality of all of them are pretty much the same. Which is they kill things. Fast. Right. So I the key up there. Hello, Mr. Gorilla. Are you dead? You are now. He was just standing there still. This is a pretty cool place. You gotta be careful with these uh, floors here. Some of them fall through. And it's always going to be the darker checkered floors. And it'll be this one. That one. Well, this one has a has a little, little health kit in it. So not all of them are dangerous. Some are rewarding. But uh, careful of that one. Is that? Oh no. Okay. Well, it's only one then. I lie. Be careful of this one. The middle one. So the ones in the side are fine. Oh no. Double lie. Don't go to this one. Right, so we can go and end this level if we want to. Um, would not recommend opening this door. Because this lever looks tempting. It really does. But, uh... Don't pull it. Not yet. So what we need to do... Let's get up here. Because... There's some goodies up there. Now this block is uh, basically what's blocking our path to the end of the level. So if we jump down there, we'll be good to go. But uh, I really want to get up there, so uh, I'm just going to magic that block over there. And here we be. One med pack. And don't forget these over here. 
because they're quite hidden. Pretty well hidden, actually. And more magnum clips would be ample better. Now this gun sounds like I'm nothing I've heard before. But uh, I always kind of like that noise, regardless. Screw you guys. Yeah, so these lines down here are basically all that's there. I kind of feel sorry for them, so I'm just going to put them all down. That's right. That's what it feels like. Be let loose, to be free of this terrible prison that you've been locked in. Come on. You're free now. Finally free. And that shall conclude the level. Aww. If only that wasn't there. That would have been cool. Let me, let me try if I can see if I can dive in there. Hold on. From the sample. Can I do it? No. Okay. Let's go back. One, two. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Oh, God damn it. Oh well. 31 kills, 26 pickups, and two out of three secrets. Oh yeah, that's because I because I restarted. <laughs> no, that's fine. Well, you saw me get it. It was the first secret. Anyway, <laughs> GG. Hey guys, uh, thanks for coming by and watching our uh, little attempt at Let's Play in 2020. Um, yeah, we know it's a tight trope, but we also had a lot of fun doing this, and for the both of us, that's really what it's all about. Um, currently we're playing on the Steam version of the game, and if you're wondering how I managed to get it to work properly, and how it, you know, how it looks, then yep, I've left a link in the description to the Steam guide that I used, and there you'll find an easy to use download that'll update your textures, add the much needed music that the PC version left out for some weird reason, and it'll also give you access to the expansion pack, which is pretty cool. Um, I would also recommend using a little tool I use called Joy to Key, and with Joy to Key you can map your keyboard buttons to your controller, which basically allows you to play all your old school games as you did on your PS1. It's really cool and it's simple to use. Um, and if this video crossed the extremely low threshold of making you smile just once, then please consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing. We would really appreciate your support and we hope to update every day with one video so catch you in the next one